let's get to know our own pelvis. So stand up and take a step back. And we have our hips, right? We say put our hands on our hips. And then we say put our hands on our sides. And our sides is between our ribs and our hips. And then if we go up even higher, that's our rib cage. So we have rib cage between our rib cage and our pelvis. There's nothing there really, right? There's your lumbar spine, but we're pushing into our obliques and our corset transverse abdominis muscle. And then down below, that's where we get into our pelvis. And if you can, just to get to know your own anatomy, see if you can feel the elephant ears of your ilium. See if you can follow that line. It tends to get difficult to follow along the front and everybody's body's a little different, meaning maybe your elephant ears of your ilium flare out a lot, maybe not so much. Maybe your hip bones are wider, maybe they're more narrow. Everybody's quite different. But this, of course, are these are called your iliac crests or like the crest or the peak or the top, your iliac crest or your iliac spine. Down on the bottom, if you touch down the base of your spine, that's called your ischial tuberosity. So we have a top point and a bottom point. And I have my pelvis, which is like our spine. It's a continent, not a country, because there's a lot of different regions, a lot of different countries within the continent that is our pelvis.